So that was a fair walk all the way from down in the valley and all the way up the hillside right over to here and then through and I keep going so quite a bit of way to go I've got 20 kilograms on my back and it's heavy catch you in a bit so I've walked about two miles now all uphill right up the valley so uh, doing quite well considering it's roasting as well but the scenery is beautiful there's loose hill there you won't be able to tell on the video but there's there's actually people stood on the top there yeah, I don't think you can see but I don't think you can see them but oh yeah so but stunning stunning area so I'm well on the way to uh, reaching the top now and then it's down into the forest just got this last hill to get up now so uh, happy days the forest you can see it now I'm in within touching distance now that was a hard walk catch you in a bit so I made it so on the home straight now there's the forest where I'm gonna be camping tonight so another few hundred meters and I'll get to the entrance to the forest um, so yeah, happy, very happy, but very sweaty. That was a tough walk, that. There's not much wind either today. Um, it's meant to be light winds today, but there's not, there's not even light winds. The only concern there is that there might be a lot of um, mozzies in the uh, forest, but I'm just praying that it's not too bad tonight, but uh, it's just fingers crossed time, really. So uh, yeah, so I'll get back to you in a bit. Oh, made it. Yep. That was a hard walk. Um, but uh, yeah, it's worth it. What a beautiful place this is. It really is. Just need to uh, find somewhere decent, really, to get uh, get set up, really. But I'm going to have a drink and stuff. Uh, relax for a bit. I'm not going to set up for a while yet because it's far too early, so I'm going to get some tea um, and just relax and chill and just enjoy the, the tranquility. The peace and quiet is unbelievable. There's no one about whatsoever. Absolutely stunning. So quiet. Not much wind. All I can hear is a few sheep. Um, unbelievable. So, uh, yeah. So I'll get back to you in a bit. Um, when I'm getting my tea on, okay. So I'm getting my tea on now. Um, bit of sirloin steak and mushrooms. Um, bit of catastrophe though, a couple of times. Um, steak fell off the stove a couple of times, so I've had to clean all the pine needles off it and put it back in the pan. It's not ideal, but the heat will burn any germs off. Um, but yeah, can't wait, looking forward to this. So uh, I won't uh, go on any longer because uh, I don't want it to fall on the floor again. But yeah, looking forward to this. So I'm just going to give you a quick uh, look round camp. Beautiful here tonight, not a soul about. Absolutely stunning. Don't know what it'd be like when it goes dark though, might be different again. As you can see, what a beautiful place. Just surrounded by natural beauty. Unbelievable. So there's camp at the bottom. Pretty well camouflaged. Well off them. Not near any pass, I should say. So I'll just take you into camp. Beautiful stone walls there, full of moss. 
Still in place. Into camp. Through the trees. So they well camouflaged in here. Very, yeah, very unlucky to get uh, anyone coming by here tonight. So yeah, so there's my setup. Very simple setup. Um, tap, OEX Bush Pro tap, uh, and. I've got my um, British Army bivvy there um, with Vango mat, a Vango sleeping bag, cheap old pillow, but that'll do. Tap on the floor, a couple of beers for later. Got plenty of lighting, plenty of lighting, plenty of kit. Probably brought too much. That's on my waterproof stuff. Probably brought too much, really. Um, you know, you learn by your mistakes. And it took me a while to set up tonight. Couldn't get everything right how I wanted it. So I had a late tea and that's why it ended up on the floor. Um, but as you go past, I'll just take you down the bottom here. It goes into the woods here. Very dense. But stunning. Um, so think I found a built in place here. Really happy with it. And uh, yeah, looking forward to relaxing now. I've not stopped all day. So I think it's time to um, put my feet up, have a few beers in a bit. So uh, I'll get back to you in a bit. Thanks. finished now virtually. Um, getting a bit eerie now anyway but um, it's really quiet, it's lovely and quiet and peaceful. Um, I know it's give rain early doors in the morning probably about three four o'clock I'm just praying that she doesn't come but you know I'm well covered um, got on my waterproofs and everything. Just gonna have a little uh, bush box fire in a bit. I wasn't gonna do that but Quite a few mosses about, so I thought, well, you know, just a bit of smoke might deter them, and it's only something small, only small twigs. So, yeah, so I'm gonna have a small fire, a couple of beers, happy days. So, see you in a bit. having a bit of a warmer here now. It's 11 o'clock at night now so just try to keep myself warm before I go to bed. Um, so yeah, had a cracking day. Had a cracking day. A uh, long day, tiring day. But um, great to uh, relax. Have a couple of uh, couple of them beauties before bed. So what am Aussies round now? Actually, saying that. So I've just uh, not had the fire on long, but there's uh, lots of them, so it's probably a wise decision. This. Um, but I'm going to change my setup to uh, an A-frame in a minute, just to keep the Aussies out overnight and try and block the ends off a little bit so yeah what a wonderful day I've had and uh, solo um, stealth camping in the Peak District um, yeah been lovely really nice relaxing day tiring day but relaxing um, 
yeah and i'd just like to thank anyone that's watching it watching this video hope you like it um like it if you want subscribe if you want if you don't want to it's not a problem um yeah and to all you wild campers out there you know uh, a lot of respect for you um anyone who can do this on their own like myself is um you know spot on so yeah so i'll see you all in the morning everyone hope you have a a nice uh sleep yourselves tonight <laughs> sure i will it's a bit dark though it's unbelievably black here um but it's been so quiet I heard a couple of strange noises at one point i thought i heard a little girl which is quite strange um yeah i'm not sure what the whole that's about i think i might have heard it twice it's just sounded like a little girl talking but we all know what these you know woods are Woods around the uh, UK, they all have a bit of darkness and history to them. Um, but yeah, mm, strange one. But anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to finish my beer, put a bit more wood on this fire before it goes out. And uh, we'll... And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. It's ten past three in the morning. Just been woken by this owl. Amazing sound. Yeah, he's been at it for about half an hour now. Just thought I'd film it. Sounds sounds amazing. I'll catch up with you in the morning. So, five past five in the morning. Not had the best sleep, I'll be honest. Um, a bit uncomfortable last night, but on a bit of a slope, I think. It's not ideal, but it was still okay, but uh, not the best. So, yeah, just uh, birds are making a lot of noise. Nothing unusual last night, the owls. Um, that was nice to hear about three this morning. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, up early, just tidying camp now. Um, gonna disappear before, um, you know, anyone starts to come round here. Probably, you know, next few hours before people come round. But yeah, get out of the way, get tidied up, leave no trace. I'll show you the site, the campsite when uh, when I've left. That uh, I've left no rubbish. So I just want to thank everyone who's watched this. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It's my first vlog ever, so I'm not sure how it's going to be. Um, considering it's my first one, you know, I've quite enjoyed doing it, um, and I hope you've enjoyed the scenery and the content. So if you want to like it, you can. If you want to share, you can. If you want to subscribe, that'd be even better. But it's up to you. But as long as you've enjoyed it, that's that's all that counts. So thanks very much and uh, I'll leave you now and hopefully I'll see you again in the, in the near future on my next um, next wild camp. I'm not sure where I'm going to go, thinking about going to Highwood Forest in Northumberland because that has a lot of spooky um, um, history with it, with Bigfoot and 
so I really fancy doing something like that, something a bit spooky. So um, yeah, so thanks for watching, really appreciate, appreciate it and uh, see you again. Bye.